there are new efforts being made to combat gun violence in the city as we head into the summer months. Toronto Mayor John Tory and Police Chief Mark Saunders launching a gun buyback program to encourage anyone with firearms lying around their homes to return them in exchange for money. The city is offering $350 for every handgun and $200 for every long gun returned to them. And uh, critics are calling it a flawed approach to tackling gun violence, but those who have lost loved ones to the weapons say any step is a step forward. He shot her several times and she died within about 20 minutes. Alison Irons is talking about her 26-year-old daughter who was stalked and murdered by her ex-boyfriend in 2013. A heart-wrenching story and she wonders today if a gun buyback program could have saved her. I could argue that had that happened in my daughter's case, had other people living in the house realized there was a problem and got rid of those guns, her murder could have been prevented. The bottom line is this. One gun surrendered is one less gun that is out there somewhere in our community. The announcement today comes after a record year and summer of gun deaths and injuries in Toronto, with more than 400 shootings, 51 of them fatal. The mayor and police chief say far too many firearms are lying around unprotected in people's homes. A lot of people do not want these guns. And, and because they don't understand, they put guns either in their kitchen cupboard or leave it somewhere very insecure. So what we're doing is we're reducing the opportunity for that potential firearm to get out on the streets. This isn't the first time Toronto has launched a program of this kind. The city's most successful buyback year was in 2008, when 2,000 firearms were returned. This year, police will offer limited immunity. Every gun returned will be tested by the Guns and Gangs Unit to ensure the weapon hasn't been used in a crime. And they're hoping for a good return. But how much of a dent will this really make on Toronto's streets? As someone who is formerly in a gang, where would you say most of the guns are coming from? Most of our guns came from the United States. So it was not from people's homes. It was not from, you know, uh, criminals going into people's homes and stealing guns that are lying around. That did happen. Um, but I would say that's that's a very, very small percent. Unfortunately, gun buyback programs are not that effective at reducing shootings. They make for great press conferences. Critics calling the move a well-intentioned but flawed approach to reducing gun violence. The people who participate in these programs are not high-risk offenders. The, similarly, the types of guns that are collected in these programs are also not uh, what we know as high-risk firearms. These are sometimes collector's items. These aren't the kinds of guns that we typically see in non-fatal and fatal shootings. We asked the mayor how much money the city has set aside to fund the program. No final figure yet, but he says it'll be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Critics say the money could be better used to fund youth programs. Nobody here today, including in particular me, is going to suggest this represents an answer or the answer or any one thing that is going to uh, cause uh, gun violence to disappear in our city, but it is one more step that we can take. And this is the fourth time the city has launched this program in 11 years. So let's break down the numbers. In 2008, that was by far their most successful year. It was called the Pis Pistols for Pixels program. And those turning in firearms got a digital camera from Henry's in exchange. And that year, police saw a return of 2,000 firearms. 500 of those were handguns. And then in 2013, the compensation was set lower at about $150. So they only saw about 500 firearms returned in 2013. In 2015, there was no compensation compensation at all. They only saw 150 firearms returned that year. And this program runs until May 17th for anyone who wants to participate. Police are emphasizing they will come to your home to pick up the gun and not to leave in public with a gun.